My name is Emilio, and I'm an analytics engineer at Seek. In this video, we'll explore how to navigate, compare, and scale work using assets in Seek. Data sources connected to Seek that have asset structures built directly in them will be accessible under the Data tab within the Asset Trees location. Here, you'll be able to take advantage of the organizational structure of your data. If your data source doesn't have this capability or you're not currently taking advantage of it, you can build these asset structures directly in Seek using either Seek Data Lab or within Seek Workbench under Asset Groups. I suggest giving our Asset Groups video a watch if you'd like to learn more about this feature. To work with assets in Seek, simply navigate under the Asset Trees location or under the Asset Groups location if you've created an asset group and click within the associated asset hierarchy. Some of the greatest advantages of working with asset structures in Seek is the ability to easily and quickly swap and compare different items or calculations across your assets, as well as apply these calculations at scale to all underlying assets. The key to this is by working with the items within the tree. For example, we can dive into this pre-built analysis. One characteristic about working with asset items and calculations is the asset name will be visible in the details pane. This name can be hovered over to show the entire path of that asset, as well as clicked on to bring you back in the data tab to where that asset lives and show what items are underneath it. Because I've already completed this analysis using the items within area A, I can easily swap this analysis to a different area by utilizing the swap button. Once clicked, a pop-up will notify you of the items that could or could not be swapped, and you'll notice in the details pane that not only my item, but all downstream calculations also swapped over to area B. Analyses can also be scaled across all underlying assets by utilizing tables and charts or tree map. Here, under tables, I can quickly add more statistics as additional columns and select what I'm interested in viewing from the details pane. To scale these statistics across all underlying assets, I can select the Asset button at the top and then select the asset directly above the assets of interest. In this case, I need to select Cooling Tower 1. Of course, this tabular view can also be changed to Chart View. I just need to make sure that the series name is coming from the asset name and to select the category I'm interested in viewing. These charts are interactive when highlighted above specific regions. There are many types of charts to select from to explore the data using alternative visualization methods. If I'd like to scale my work using conditions as a color-based learning mechanism, I can change my view to tree map where I can configure a red, yellow, green type of notation to demonstrate whether conditions were present across my assets. All that I need to do is associate priority colors to each condition and the tree map should automatically be generated. In TreeMap, additional statistics can be added to each box. These statistics are relative to the time frame that's being viewed. TreeMap is also interactive, where you can navigate up and down the tree, viewing the TreeMap across assets in different paths of your tree. If you'd like to investigate a specific asset, then you can simply click on it and view it in TrendView. Lastly, we can take a look at how working with assets can be utilized with an organizer. Here you can see all of the content that we viewed, viewing across all of our different assets, as well as the same table that was introduced, but now with a sorting element as well as a filter to show only the assets that need attention. You'll notice that there's also an asset selector configured in this organizer that can be used to swap organizer content across different assets. Be sure to visit support.seek.com for quick links to many of Seek's resources if you'd like self-guided or live assistance in creating more value by utilizing asset structures. Thank you for watching.